Okay, now on this one, without using a calculator, because you're not going to use that, you're going to circle the problems that add to zero. Now, anytime you add two opposites, one positive, one negative, and it's the same thing, it's going to be zero. So that's the same thing, one's positive, one negative, I'll circle it, that's going to be zero. These have the same thing, but they're not opposites, they're both positives, so that is not going to add to zero. Okay, here I'm adding the same thing, but they're not opposites, they're both negatives. Again, then one has to be negative, one has to be positive, so don't circle that. Okay, I got the same thing. One of them's negative, one of them's positive. I'll circle it. 8y plus negative 8y. Same thing. One's positive, one's negative. That'll add up to zero. Okay, that's negative, that's positive. That'll add up to zero. Okay, it's the same thing, but they're both positives, so that isn't going to work. And right here, same thing. One's negative, one's positive. You want to circle that. Okay. Pause the video, go to the back side, and circle the ones that are going to be negatives. By the way, this says these are both negatives. Okay. Rest of them pretty easy. Okay, unpause it when you're ready to get back to me. Okay, now we're beginning a different process, but this isn't very hard, okay? Solve the system. Now, this time you don't have a base equation because you don't have a letter that's by itself, so no base. So we got to use a different method. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to underline this, and I'm going to circle the X's together. I'm going to circle the Y's together, and I'm going to circle these together. Now, you got to have opposites of the same thing, a negative and a positive, in front of either the x's or the y's. Okay? So these ain't even the same thing, so not there. Got the same thing, one's positive, one's negative, so I know that adds to zero, because we're always going to add, so those cancel. Now I add 3 plus 1 is 4x equals, and then 27 plus negative 11 is 16. Here, I'll prove it. So I dot my x and then divide by 4. So 16 divided by 4 is 4, and that's your x. Okay. Now, I'll teach you how to solve y later. I just want you to get one of the answers. That's all you got to do. Okay. So again, no base because there's no letter by itself. So then I go to plan B. I circle the x's, I circle the y's, and I circle the two constants. So right here I have the same thing, and one's negative, one's positive. So I know that if I add those, they add to zero. So I don't, don't write zero, just cancel them out. Then I take five, positive 5 plus, you're always adding, Positive 5 plus negative 1 is 4. Y. And then 13 plus 15 is 28. And then I can divide by 4. Okay, 28 divided by 4 is 7. And that's your Y. Okay. Okay, next up. Again, we have no base, so I circle the x's, circle the y's, and the constants. Okay, now I'm going to want to add, but remember, it doesn't add to zero unless it's opposite of the same thing. Well, here I have the same thing, but they're not opposites, okay? So don't cross them out. Here you don't even have the same thing, okay? But we at least have the same thing. They might not be opposites, but here's what I can do. I can do what's called a sign switch. Meaning I go all these numbers on the bottom. I'm going to switch their sign. I can do that. So the 2 goes from a positive to a negative. 
the negative 2y now becomes positive 2y, and the negative 8, well, that's going to become positive 8. Okay. All right. Now, I know that these opposites will add to 0. And then I take 4 plus 2, and that's 6y. Then I take 22 plus 8, which is 30. Okay. And then I divide by 6. You can dot your 6. That's fine. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So y equals 5. So I got the answer for y. Okay, my next one. Again, no base. So I circle the x's, I circle the y's, and I circle the constants. Now, either this or this have to be opposites of the same thing. This ain't even the same thing, okay? Four and one, not the same. Now, these have sevens in front of them, but they're not opposites. They're both negative, okay? So I have to do the sign switch on the bottom to all these on bottom. So that one goes from a positive to a negative. The 7 here goes from a negative to a positive, and the 15 goes from a negative to a positive. Now I know that if I add these, they go away. They add up to 0. So I add. You're always plussing, okay? 4 plus negative 1, okay? I'm guessing that's 3. So I have 3x equals, because I crossed everything out between here and here, and then 3 plus 15 is 18. Now I dot the 3, and I just need to divide by 3, okay? And that's 6. Okay, next page. Okay, there's no base in this system. So I circled the x's, the y's, and the constants. Okay, just like that. Now, I want a plus, but before I actually do the plus, I need to make sure that either here or here I have opposites of the same thing. Here I don't even have the same thing. Here I have the same thing. Now let's see if they're opposites. Well, one's a negative, one's a positive, hence they're opposite. So I don't need to do the sign switch. I just cross them out. So 5 plus 3 is 8x equals, and 0 plus 24 is 24. I dot the x, circle it, and I just need to divide by 8. And that's 3. Okay, and that's x. Okay, next problem. There is no base that I can do the box bubble with. So I circle the x's, the y's, and then here. Okay, so remember we want a plus. These don't even have the same number in front. These have the same number in front, but are they opposites? No, they're both positive, so we have to do the sign switch if we want to cross them out. Okay, so on the bottom I make them all opposite, so 3 goes from positive to negative. The 5 goes, and always do it on the bottom, the 5 goes from positive to negative. The 27 from positive to negative. So we can cross those out, and I add 6 plus negative 3. You're always plusing 3, so that's 3x equals, and then I add 20, 39 plus negative 27. That's 12. So I dot the x, circle it, and then divide by 3, and x equals 4. Okay, you got 4 to do on your own. Get them done, please. You have to do sign switches on two of them, okay?